Hi guys, welcome back to Lou's Beauty Closet. If this is your first time here, hi, I'm Lou. I post weekly beauty videos. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. Right, so we are doing first impressions today. We're doing on brand, we're doing only Fenty stuff. So I have the bronzers, the setting powders, the concealer, all the good stuff. And then the rest of the face, we're going to be using predominantly Fenty product. I've had these products in my new in basket for a while now and I've been itching to jump in. So enough waffling, let's get into it guys. Okay, so I've got the primer and I've got like a little sample of it. So we're going to use that. So I've just got the Fenty primer. Oh, it's quite creamy, isn't it? It's actually quite creamy. I actually like that going on, very easy. And um, the primer usually does come in a pump, I believe. And it's about like the same amount as the foundation. So that's nice. It's setting quite quickly. It's a little bit tacky. Usually do set with translucent powder, but we're not going to do that this time. So I'm gonna be using my Hourglass Vanish foundation brush that I love. And we're just gonna dot this on my face and use it. So I'm shade 420. If you are interested, I do put my shades in the description box of like my frequent foundations that I use, just as a point of reference, so you can check that out. I will say it keeps me matte all day. That's a plus. And we all know she changed the game with this foundation launch. I do have a friend of taking up residence and real estate on my face, uninvited. I'm going to lightly set our face. So I've got two of the powders. I've got honey and nutmeg. So nutmeg is what I'm going to set my face with. So I'm just going to lightly dust it because I'm also going under my eyes with concealer and powders. So I don't want to make my face too matte. The um, shade nutmeg we're going to set our face with. And yes, it's a mini. I just don't see the point in buying a massive powder. And the mini is about, how many grams is the mini? 7.8 grams. So the mini is about 7.8 grams. That's plenty of product for me. And I've got two. Oh, how cute. It comes with a mini powder puff. Okay, that's cute. Hang in with my Big Sigma F30 brush. I'm just going to lightly dust it. All right, I actually really like that powder. Super easy. Okay, so we're going to put that away for now. I'm going to jump into the concealers. I'm super excited to try this. I'm not really a concealer hoarder. I'm quite enjoying my Too Faced concealer that I have at the moment. I've got the shade 390 of the Pro Fin Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. Got a nice healthy amount coming out onto the wand, so we'll just see what that looks like on. Nice and creamy. Got my beauty blender. It's really yellow, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's nice. That's nice. It's nice and creamy and it's blending beautifully. Oh, wow. It's actually blending beautifully, guys. That is settled into my skin quite nicely. Number is actually matched to your foundation shade. So if I'd gone for the 420 concealer, it's actually already a bit lighter than my foundation shade. So it was perfectly matched. But when I played with it in store, the thing that I will say I liked just off the bat from the range without even putting it on my face was just swatching it and seeing that there were actually so many options. So I just didn't want to go to over the top and order so many, but I could have gone even brighter than this. I could have gone darker than this and had a bit more of a shade for like retouching, shade for contour. So I love that there's options for each skin tone. Sinking in nicely, it's blended in nicely. It's giving me that brightening, brighten effect and that yellow effect. But you know, sometimes you blend out some concealers and you still have that line of demarcation. I just really like how it's seamlessly blended in. It's giving me that, I mean, not natural because concealing your under eyes isn't really natural, but it's giving me, I guess it's not too much of a retouch overdone look. It's giving me more of a satin kind of look and finish. Now with the powders, I'll just read what it says on the packaging. So this is the shade Honey for my under eye. Light as air setting photo, soft finish for all. So that's the shade Honey on my Beauty Blender. Because of how easy it is, I feel like it's going to be so easy to overdo it. So I've got a bit more. 
Okay, so I'm gonna set this under eye and then when I come back, we'll do some bronzing. All right, so exciting. I've got the bronzer now. So I went for the shade Coco Naughty, which is the second darkest shade. When I was looking at images, I thought I was going to go for the darkest one. But then when I saw some people who'd pick it up, picked it up, it actually looked dark enough. These are the 6.8 grams of product. Well, six, sorry, 6.23 grams. And for this one, she says instant sun soaked glow that lasts blendable, buildable, and transfer resistant. So it's a lot of claims, but I like that. Blendable, buildable, and transfer resistant. So it's gorgeous packaging. I love how she's differentiated this from her usual white packaging like this, and she's made it gold, so you know this is your bronzer. So that's what it looks like here. Got two brushes, and we'll just see how I go with them. I've got my Sigma F37, which is like a tapered highlight brush. And then I've also got my usual brush that I use to bronze, which is the MAC 140. This is the short version of it. So we'll just see which one I prefer, but I want to go in quite light handed. Since you said it's buildable, I'm hoping that I can, because I tend to be heavy handed. So we're just going to go straight into it. I'm just going to pick some up and you can already see some on the brush. And just with me swiping, there's not really much of a, there's not much of a kick back in the pan. So I'm excited for that. So I'm just going to sweep this. I like the warmth. I could probably could have gone for a dark, the darkest shade, and that would have given me a way more intense um, bronze. But I don't don't really like too intense of a bronze. So I do like that it's buildable. I like how soft this is. So I think if I wanted like an intense bronzer. I'd probably go for the darkest shade, but I think I would look a bit really tanned. <laughs> and if my skin tone at 420 can still use the darkest one, then, you know, darker shades, because her foundation goes up to what, 490, isn't it? I don't know if it goes into the 500s, but up to 490, they should also have a darker shade. I've seen companies come out with bronzers off the bat and having about eight shades, so, you know, kudos to her, but I'm hoping she does expand the shades but I am actually enjoying this bronzer. No, I had to tap off any excess product in the com uh, off my brush. It's not kicking up a storm. It's lovely. This is nice. This is probably going to replace my bronzer. Considering I've already hit pan on that, it's going. Liking the concealer, like I said, liking the brightness. And now with the bronzer on and everything on, the concealer doesn't look too, too much so i could have even got lighter if i wanted to the tapered highlighter so we're doing we're using our highlight our glow as a blush as well because it's a tinted one so i've got the fenty kilowatt duos in ginger binge moscow mule this was literally my go-to look you can see how much i've loved this one do my brows and my eyes and I'll come back to you um I haven't full brows I, there's no Fenty brow products I'm sure she'll change that and I but I have got my Fenty fly liner for my eyes so I'll just do a nice simple look and put my liner on and then I've got the gloss bomb for my lips the face is all done so we're just going to finish up with our lips so I've got the Fenty beauty gloss bomb in Fenty glow so this is the original one don't actually know what liner I've grabbed I've just grabbed one <laughs> from Colourpop just going to line my lips. I'm just taking my gloss bomb. I will say and go against the grain. I know this is a fan favorite amongst so many people in the beauty community, but for me personally, I do like the gloss bomb, but it's not my favorite gloss formula. I find it's actually really goopy and sticky. A lot of people don't talk about that. It's really difficult to store. It's so big and chunky, but I do, I do like the I do like it, but it's not my favorite gloss formula. So I think there is a lot of hype with this one. In general, in terms of everything I tried for the first time, I love it. So love all the conce the concealer, the bronzer, and the powders. Big hit for me. So bravo Fenty, bravo Rihanna with the brand, the way you set the stage, the way you are leading in this industry, the way you're setting trends and you're being innovative and you're also changing the culture. So bravo. Comment below, guys, love to hear your thoughts. Love to continue the chat in the comment section below. What did you think? Did you like the bronzer? Do you think I should have gone for a deeper shade? What do you think of the concealer? And just everything in general, I am really liking it. Have you tried any Fenty products? Is any of this stuff in your regular rotation? 
love to chat, chat all things beauty. So for me, my Fenty collection is growing. It's not really a brand that I've had huge amounts of. Um, the foundation I was a fan of, a lot of the stuff I find I don't necessarily need, but I do appreciate what the brand is doing for us in the beauty community and for people of color and just people in general and everyone can have access to to products so i love love the discourse that she's doing with her brand and i love how she's changing the game on your way out guys if you are not already i'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and if you are subscribed ring that bell so you don't miss out on any videos until next time guys bye